folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome back to another episode of Multiplayer Stellaris with Burstone. Greetings! I got all the Apocalypse DLC and everything. We're pretty far away from, like, Doom Stars. Yeah. But a, but, but a boy can dream. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully we'll meet each other soon. Actually, you'll be uh, dreaming even more, maybe, actually. I mean, when you consume plump helmet wine. Yeah, there's probably a lot of hallucinogens in there. I guess that's probably why the Space Dwarves... Or the way the dwarves like it so much. Getting stoned. <laughs> Not just drunk, but stoned. Oh, hold All right. What is this drone happen? campaign? Growth speed plus 20% takes food automatically. Our construction is complete. Hmm? Is this a building? No, these are just new edicts. Hold on, let me read these. These are interesting. Edicts. Oh, you probably have new edicts at because of your, your unity thing. Like, I've got new edicts because of the spiritualism. Okay. Yeah, I've got things like Drone Campaign, which increases my growth speed by 20%. Um, Learning Campaign, which increases my leader experience gain by 25%. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, you've unlocked those, yeah. They take energy to do those. They're great. Um, It takes food. Oh, it takes yeah. energy for me, like, by default, but it must be different because of who you are. Yeah. yeah that's very interesting. Here's That's actually really nice. I can go farming subsidies, which boosts my food output by 20% for the cost uh -huh. of 200 influence. And then uh -huh. just do the drone campaign, mm -hmm. growth speed, and the leader experience gain for 150. That's amazing. Nice. You might want to change your food stockpiling laws. By I default, did. it's set to minimal. Oh, yeah, you did? I set it up to, to balance, balance, so I, I can store up to 1,000 at least. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that myself soon hurts your it can just delay your early growth a bit but gives you a big buffer mm -hmm. and with you you actually need to spend the points so it makes a heck of a lot more sense yeah interesting i'm, I'm not gonna do it right right now i'm gonna mm -hmm. wait until i get some uh, colonies set down but yeah that seems pretty I like it mm -hmm. yeah i'm researching the tech right now to unlock the um the can the additional edicts the campaigns but yeah for me it'll cost energy but i have a lot of energy stored up so i'm gonna be okay with it these guys were the traders. I'm not looking to... I suppose I could sell energy to get minerals, but I don't know. I think I'm okay right now. I'm going to hold off on this. Uh, no, what the hell? I'm not doing anything else with my minerals. I could build up a fleet. Take out those amoebas. Um, I just... What? what? That's interesting. I... The the Tazri system, the one that was in the middle there where I said it didn't have anything going on. Oh, no, it did have. It just had the two... The two energy. Sorry, I'm talking to myself more. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get a second construction ship going on. I might not have the influence to spam that many star bases, but I could probably do a bit more. Do I build up the fleet? I think I really want to wait for another military tech, and then I'll take out the amiibos. So hopefully there'll be something soon. I'm going to go up the fastest if that's Our not a problem. Is that is completely fine, yeah. And yeah, feel free to pause if there's crap going on. We can play it more turn-based. Uh, I will expand out this way. There's some pretty valuable systems out there. Upgrade complete. Kitty Ranch is finally settling. Construction is complete. All right, plus five monthly unity, additional edicts. Oop, I present risk anomaly. Hopefully, this one doesn't blow up my ship again. Our situation log is updated. Is this the one that's terrible, or is this the one that's good? That's the one that's terrible. <laughs> Though, are you getting an event or something? N no, it, my planets. I have I have a good planet and I have a crappy planet. Oh oh oh. There's a good plan. Yeah, this is where we're going to sit you. It kind of mix. Like, I have two really big planets, but their habitability sucks. So it's kind of plus and minus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there we go. Corvette hull points. I like that. Although I could also get the uh, secondary guns, which should also be okay. Ooh, map the stars edict is done. I want to keep that going. I need a science skill four or higher, two of those, in fact, I have for that, and then a skill science scientist by five. Like, the hell. Hey, I forgot to check the committee. What do they want? Harmonious. They want harmony, harmony tradition. 
Well, probably that'll happen. 5% chance of failure. What could possibly go wrong? Black battery, so maybe I should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better protect myself a bit better. I don't want to, like, lose. You know what? I'm going to get military techs at this point. I don't need the automatic research yet. Well, I have found everything I need for the precursors. But I just need a scientist smart enough. Yeah. Oh, you've literally... Wow. Well, I have a lot of anomalies I haven't checked out. Some of them are probably precursor bits. Sorry, just a second. Boom, done. Construction ship over here. You can go and build mining. Build research. Mm-hmm. You need to return home. Your default starbase, by the way, has a uh, crew quarters on it, which means if your military ships are in orbit around it, you'll actually pay less maintenance, which is very nice. Okay, say that one more time. So if you check your home starbase, okay. um, it's got a building on it mm -hmm. called crew quarters. I don't see it. Do I check the spaceport? No. Just the Not surface? the spaceport tab, the starbase tab. So, like, your actual starbase. Oh, my actual, actual starbase. starbase. Sorry, I'm yeah, still getting those two mixed up. up. Okay. okay. One second. Let me ah, just. Shit. Pirates. Not bad. Where's my fleet? Go. Okay. Uh, let me get there. Here we go. So, my, so my actual, actual starbase. Go away. Mm -hmm. There. Yeah, in the Starbase tab, mm -hmm. under Buildings, mm -hmm. it'll have Crew Quarters? Uh, uh, no. I've got Trading Hub, Missile Battery, Gun Battery. No, no, not something you can build. It's already in existence. It should already be included as one of the existing buildings. Oh, Crew Gestation Chambers. Ooh, that's a different name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it Dock Ship Upkeep minus 25%? As I say... Upkeep as uh, energy, dock ship upkeep minus 25%. Yes. Yeah. So as long as your ships are in orbit around the starbase, you have to pay less to maintain them. So when they're idle, it's good to keep them there. Oh. Do I have them there? I wonder. Into orbit. Maybe I didn't have them there. Maybe I had them close to there. Oh, wait, no. No, I, maybe I did. I don't know. I'm going to find out in just a moment, I guess, when we on pause. Okay. I'm gonna find out. Does, does my my energy go up? And yeah, if you you're by default, no. if you send your fleet, um, if you hit that return button at the top of your fleet, they will go to their home base, which by default is that one. So that guarantees that they're docked in the right place. I think my construction ship's gonna get blown up here. Oh no, the pirates are busy doing something else. Okay. Whew. Stupid space pirates. I gotta do this normally. Maybe sooner rather than later. What's happening here? Why are we still doing this? Research. Needs five or higher. Four or higher. Mother of God. You know what? Why don't you go and research that one? Because that'll be safer. Worlds are all good. Let's see, let's survey that Farm system. there. Kitty Ranch is almost done. There's a lot of space to claim before I won't have to worry about pirates. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm getting that. Mm-hmm. Now they're they stay a pain in the ass. You don't just get like one pirate event and then you're like, okay, done with that. Alright, we've officially got a new world now. So since I've got a spot with alien pets, I should get the alien pet tech at some point soon for the alien zoo. I don't know. I have this idea. Okay, I'm going to pause this. I have to get this in my head real fast. I have this idea. All I want to do is name all my planets Badger, and that's going to be so fucking confusing. <laughs> you could you could name them Badger 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or something, at least. It's still going to be a little confusing, but yeah. less, like, hor horrific. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cancel this right now. I'm not, I'm not going to change the name right now. I can't. All right, go ahead. Between comedic value 
and actually playing the game to some definition of trying. Yeah. Well, there's that time I played that race where I like used IP addresses for every star system and planet. It got a little confusing because it was like, okay, 192.168.3, so that was my third star system. Dot two, so the second planet from the sun and the third star system I saw, like, our yeah, that's that's slightly inconvenient, but it looked it looked funny. All right, go ahead and not claim this because we don't actually have the influence because the other one's going there. I guess you actually want to come here and rebuild these research stations. Boom, boom. We've got debris we could check out. Mmm, I love debris. You know, yeah, yeah, it goes some good crusty for red. Mm hmm. It's great. You sprinkle on some slivered almonds and brown sugar and then bake it in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, you get your little crusty bread or crackers or something. Oh, alternative recipe with little cranberries. Mm. Ooh. Best it's just, it's about adding a little sweetness somehow to the uh, to the brie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Savored brie. Just a fantastic combo. All right, blow you up. Blam, blam, blam. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, took out another wave of pirates. We are having you. You, you have, have another wave. I've I've taken care of it. So okay. the second wave of pirates has been dealt with. At least when you blow up the, their pirate base, you do get something out of it. All right, you go back home. Do you, I don't know if I did. I'm pretty sure I blew up the pirate base, and there was nothing left after that. Yeah, no, you, it's nothing left. But you get for blowing it up, you get like 50 minerals Our and 80 is energy or something like that. It's not much, but it's something for your effort. Little token, token prize. Three more food. Space board. Really cute. Ooh, so physics. I design you to something like that. That'll be enough to take out these space amiibos. Just barely, especially if I get a weapons upgrade at the same time. Okay. So let's do that, because I want to go and meet you. Plus, we're. I'm basically, other than handling some anomalies, I'm going to have nothing to do with my science ships in a second. So I got to work towards busting out of that space amoeba. Mm -hmm. Especially so since I can't leave south. Them up. If you weaken them up and we just like coordinate, if you weaken them up, I go in, weaken them up, you go in, weaken them up. Oh, well, that's true. I think I can build a fleet that can take them out in one go, though. I'm building up to 15 Corvettes, okay. and I'm close to the Corvette hull point tech. And I think that'll be more than enough between the two. Might lose some ships, but that's okay. You're gonna do the debris, then you'll do that anomaly. Kill construction is complete. I was just about to build another uh, colony ship, and I remembered we're not playing the same game as the last time I played. I don't need right. all these colony ships right away. That's true. Yeah, like used to getting a second construction ship to expand your holdings tends to be super valuable, mm -hmm. especially if you generate a lot of influence. I don't know. Like I'm I'm at three per month. I don't know if you get more influence as a hive mind. As a, if you're authoritarian, you get a bunch of free influence, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I guess if we would make a federation, I think we're gonna, it's gonna cost us influence. I don't remember. I think so. Our we obviously won't be able to rival each other. There's a natural wormhole. What? Uh huh. What is that? I have no idea what to expect from that. You know, you'll need wormhole research tech, and what it is is it links two star systems, probably across the galaxy. You can, you'll be able to travel through there and probably go to the other side of the galaxy once you get the tech to actually explore them and stabilize them. I just realized the star ports, you can upgrade them, and when you upgrade them, I guess that's when you get those slots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your your home system started with an upgraded starport. So by default, when you claim a system, you build an outpost. And outposts don't have any slots. You can upgrade it to a starport, which will have slots, and then you can keep upgrading them as you unlock more techs. You do have a limit uh, in the top your top bar. You do have a limit, and you start off with a limit of three star bases. Outposts are, are don't count as part of that. Well, but you can't stay, you can't spam, spam star bases everywhere. But they're good at choke points. They're good around your own planets. All right, I'm I'm really digging the artwork or the uh, the graphic there for the the wormhole. 
That is. Oh yeah, that I is don't have one yet. Yes. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I have enough influence. Let's go for it. Scientist here. You're level three. Hurry right, up, not level faster. Well, oh, but desert's not going to be too shabby. It's fifty percent. Yes. Three yes. analyzed. Yes. Excellent. Technology oh, conceived. Oh wait, wrong one. Halt. Flak battery. Now, flak battery. Those are um, only for the spaceports, right? Uh, no. I think you can put them on any ship. It's a point really? defense slot. Yeah. As long as your ship design has a point defense slot on it, I think you can put on anything. Geothermal fracking. That's a mushroom. Do I want to go right into fracking right immediately? What could possibly go wrong? Get that natural gas access. Yeah, let's do it. Frack it. Yeah, frack it. Magnetic reversal. Our construction is physics gain. I guess that's all right. But they have more than one level one anomaly in this system. That's interesting. This is a really nice um, area. I need to protect it. Technology conceived. Ooh, blue lasers. Ooh, shiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am 14 months away from the Corvette hull point increase. As soon as I get that. I'm going to go and take out the Space Amoeba. It'll be easy. I'll have quite a bit more strength than them. I'm already up to 606 flight the fleet, so... Sorry, one second. I'm just uh, looking at... Planets? This is this is new. I haven't seen this before. Planets with at least one stronghold or fortress building will be able to inhibit the FTL drives of hostile fleets. That's interesting. Mm hmm. And uh, the um, the stronghold buildings, so you can't build defensive armies anymore. Instead, you build the stronghold, and it spawns like three defensive units, and it also protects your army from bombardment. Which okay. is nice. So, so it's, it's not necessary right now. I haven't even met anybody that's going to be trying to kill me yet. Yeah. How about gravitic yeah. sensors? That in it increases the range of my star bases, or so I understand it. Yeah, Gravitic Sensors, it's a new sensor upgrade. You can upgrade, like, all your ships and your star bases and everything. Because they've got, like, level 1 sensors right now. Those are level 2 sensors. But they let you see into neighboring systems. Ooh. It's mu much better for, like, tracking fleets. It's actually nice for, like, your science ships and stuff, because they can often know if there's a threat in a neighboring system, so they don't tend to get themselves murdered as often. That's helpful. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's helpful. actually really good. Our construction is complete. Construction complete. So... Let's go. I was going to wait for that. Could go now, though. I guess I may as well still wait 12 months. What the hell? We have found an anomaly. Oh, God. I keep failing these 5% science things. That's still 10%. Go for level 2. Our construction is complete. Some reason has towed an someone had towed an asteroid into a stable orbit. They say for some reason. How about just because it you could? Yeah, that's that's all the reason I would have. Uh, get the asteroid sighted event. I gotta go blow up the asteroid. Where is it? Oh, there Technology it is. Conceived. Oh, my starbase is actually shooting at the asteroid because it's close enough right now. That's funny. Another faction founded. Strength through conquest faction. Ooh. Yes, they want supremacy, they want me to have rivals. Yes, Fusion reactor tech. Yeah, we'll get the gravitic sensors as well. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. I should do this. I should build the outpost. Grab that four energy. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's something, damn it. <laughs> Satellites. You know what? No, screw that. Go here. Go to there. I guess some border gore happening. 
between my uh -huh. border and space. Yeah, that that'll happen here. There's a lot more border gore in this version of the game than before. I mean, you could sort of like go out and start a second little blob, but usually things joined up. Now there's a lot more possibility for chaos. I could just build a science lab here temporarily until I get the alien zoo thing. Mm -hmm. That's probably worth doing. Do that. Energy siphon, good. Oh, there's the alien zoo tech. Well, hold on then. Cancel you. You just chill for now. Life battery. I get yeah, life batteries on my ship. My uh, my cor my Corvettes. <laughs> yeah, you could. Conceived. And the thing is, flak batteries are good at fighting other Corvettes in like swarmy kind of fights. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're really designed to shoot down fighters and we missiles, but they actually do work system. okay against Corvettes. You're not level four yet. Do this level two. one anomaly, get you a little bit more XP. We'll probably take a risk on the level threes. Okay, sir. So I've got a strength of 736 fleet. I'm gonna go and take out the amoeba. I'm getting myself some ion thrusters. Let's research that rocketry. One for one. Yeah, I think I'm working on ion thrusters as well. Extra speed is nice. You get the extra evasion too. Like it's good in combat. It's good for lots of things. Let's try to roll a good scientist. I'm gonna take the increased leader lifespan scientist. I like that one. I'm boosting up as much as I can with uh, the, the ability to build ships faster. I don't know if they're going to be good ships, but I'm going to be able to build them fast. <laughs> oh. Amoeba Space Hunters, where are they at? Over there. Okay. Over here. You're going to come over here. Research. We have survey. This is survey. Boom! I've cleared out those space amoebas. Excellent. Now we can say hello to each other soon. Sooner than later. Oh, did I not have... Oh, no, I do have an Admiral. Oh, my Admiral's ships got destroyed. And Space Pirates. Oh, I didn't actually check to see what system they were in. How come you're getting more and more Space Pirates than not? I, I don't know. I don't know what actually caused it to scale up or not. Our situation log is updated. Oh, just because I've already done it. Jeez. We have found an anomaly. 10%. Let's go for it. Technology conceived. Five and four and five and four and four and Jesus, I need a scientist that's godlike. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it fast. We have surveyed the system. Mm -hmm. colony ship. I still need a level four. Oh no, I can research that one. Okay, good. Hyperlane technology, I'm boosting it to level two. Nice. Let's get around a bit quicker. It is a little fun. Finished discovery. Oh, I can get my first what? ascension perk. What? Oh, oh my god. god. I need no dro. I'm gonna go for the religious stuff. You need what? <laughs> I have found a. Uh, I, I surveyed a system called no dro. And it has six energy, four mineral, three research of our physics, four societal, three engineering, all in one place. Damn. I know. It's pretty rich. I like it. Very strong. Yeah, okay, we'll just research this so I can actually claim this system. Finally. See what that anomaly is. Hope it doesn't fail. I need more planet buildings. Read you first. Get some science. Kitty Ranch needs a building there, but we're waiting for the zoo. I think it's time. Their temple finally. Our construction is complete. Done. Beat up some pirates. Hooray! Ooh, gale speed. Mute artifact and some research. We flee the whole pirate base is gone. You guys just go back to your base. These, These amoebas, amoebas are trying, trying to kill me. me. Oh, 
Oh, you ran in some more amoebas? Yeah. All right. This is. Oh, hold on. Is that pirates? Oh shit, that's pirates. All right. How big? Yar. Yar. R for the D. Um. Oh, see, I'm getting a little note that my home world can't grow unless I clear tile blockers. Big sensors. I'll know what's next. Infinite energy. So let's just go and do that now. A four. I forget. Before I forget. Oh, oh, planets in this system. Oh. I have them outgunned. Okay. For now, go, 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 go. if you're still level two, you'll be able to do the level one now. That's good. How do I get back to, to safety? safety? This, this is the shitty part. There we go. We'll just, just go around. around. The level one there. And choose you. Five percent chance. Done. And you can go and claim the system. Conceived. Ion thrusters. As long as I don't have to get engaged with that. Our base capacity too. Ooh, um, seems, seems nice. nice. Yeah, more star bases, more better. Oh no! Now I'm being shot at by the damn. They they lured me back to their base. I hate that. Oh, the pirates? Yeah, it's okay. They're gonna die. Pretty sure. Pile on a bunch of unity. Let's build temples everywhere. Let's be properly religious. Unlike my other Let's Play, I'm not pretending to be religious. I actually am spiritual. Blood for the Blood God. All hail Armok. <laughs> I have no way to research this project, why not? Where are you? Oh, you're level 4 now. Holy shit, before you die. Before you die. I need oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> That's always the thing. Oh my god, don't die before I can scan all these stupid systems. Sensor's almost done. So we haven't met each other yet, but we gotta be on the cusp of it. Well, I guess we'll put a cut in here. We must meet each other next episode, because the uh, the amoebas have been cleared, and I'm starting to move out in the direction that I think you're in. Um, actually, I could actually just literally do, like, explore in this direction. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just explicitly explore instead of survey until I meet you. So with that... Let's put a cut. All, All right, right, I'm ready for it. Oh, this is this has been great. I'm so excited to yeah. finally meet you. <laughs> <laughs> it would be but nice. I, I love my starting area though. I think this is one of the start strongest starts in in Stellaris I've had in ages. Yeah, I'm just really looking good. forward to seeing that. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. If there is anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this, and I'll see you again later. And if you're feeling super generous, please check out the Patreon site where you can support me if you have the means and know that I will be eternally grateful. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Briar Stone signing out.